Action News, always taking action for you. Tonight, our one-on-one -on -one interview with Dave Brandon, Michigan's athletic director, is speaking out for the first time since Shane Morris's injury last Saturday that led to a nationwide controversy. Well, of course, you know there have been calls for Brandon to step down over the university's handling of that situation. Summit Action News Sports Director Tom Lydon just finished up an interview. He joins us now live in Ann Arbor. Okay, Tom, what does he have to say about all of this? Oh boy, that's a loaded question, yeah. Jeff. Let me tell you that. We did certainly talk about a lot, and we will get to the entire conversation over the course of the night. But for this time right now, we need to focus in on specifics and what bothers you most. And what bothered me most about this entire episode is the fact that since the statement was released, which was late Monday night into Tuesday morning, and even before that, it's been head coach Brady Hoke who's had to answer all the questions surrounding the controversy with Shane Morris's concussion and the fallout that came from it. So that was one of the big questions that I did ask Dave Brandon as we just had our conversation moments ago. In the midst of all of this, why is he the guy who's having to field all the questions? And why did it take so long for you to sit down and answer some of these questions? Because uh First of all, I've been busy doing things that I think are frankly more important, and that's probably not what you want to hear. Uh, but ever since we got that statement out in the wee hours, what I've been doing is connecting with our student athletes. I've traveled from team to team to team. I've caught them during practices, during meetings, because my primary responsibility is to communicate with our kids and assure them about our commitment to their health and safety and make sure they understand with the uh, with the noise that's being made out there, um, what they should understand and believe about the values of this program. I met with my faculty advisory board and had that same discussion with them. Uh, I've been doing my job, and my job is to manage this department and take care of these 931 student athletes. You know, at its essence, that is very admirable. It has been a storm swirling. We talked about a lot. He did say that Brady Hoke will be the coach of the Michigan football team for the remainder of the season. We will share that portion of the conversation with you later on future editions of Action News. And he also said the number one thing he needs to fix is his relationship with the student body. Reporting live from Ann Arbor, Tom Lydon, 7 Action News. I know you're going to be talking about this all night, so we'll let you go here and hear more later. But just real quickly, Tom, Brady Hoke talked about really almost sang his praises yesterday, saying they have a fabulous relationship, the two of them. Did you hear the same from Brandon in your interview? I did. Obviously, when I asked him point blank if uh, Brady's going to be the coach, he says he has full yeah. confidence in Brady Hoke as the coach of this program. So they do have a strong relationship, and he feels really badly about what happened on Monday where Brady was left to answer those questions for the media without really knowing 100% what was going on. Well, there is still a lot of season left for the Wolverines. Oh, there sure we'll is. See. Thanks, Tom. We'll look forward to much more coming up a little bit later on. Now, tonight, though, we do want to say the petition circulating the University of Michigan demanding that Dave Brandon be fired continues to grow. More than 11,000 people have now signed it. And remember, this is only available to students, alumni, and staffers who have a U of M login. The author of the petition, Zeed El Kalani, calls Brandon's tenure a distraction from the school's main mission and the football program a black eye for the University of Michigan. And our coverage of the athletic director's first interview since the concussion controversy continues throughout the day. You will hear more from Tom Lydon's sit down with Dave Brandon, plus how the university is responding. That's coming up at 6 o'clock.